Hello, everyone. Today, we're uncovering an unexpected twist in the recent royal tour by King Charles and Queen Camilla. After their 11-day tour of Australia and Samoa, the royal couple made an unplanned stop in India. But this wasn't just another leg of the royal journey, it was a private visit that the British press didn't initially know about. Buckingham Palace had to clarify the purpose of the trip, shedding light on a little-known royal rule about combining private getaways with official duties. If you're excited for more royal insights, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of this unusual detour by King Charles and Queen Camilla? As King Charles and Queen Camilla wrapped up their official tour in Australia and Samoa, journalists accompanying them believed the next stop would be home in the UK. But to everyone's surprise, Charles and Camilla instead took a secret detour to a wellness retreat in India. This stop wasn't on the public schedule, and it wasn't until the Daily Beast revealed the location that Buckingham Palace confirmed the royal couple's visit. The decision to visit India privately broke a long-standing royal rule, one that typically restricts royals from combining personal trips with official work engagements. According to reports, the three-day spa retreat was intended for relaxation and rejuvenation, giving the king a short break in his hectic schedule. This visit marked a rare departure from tradition, especially as it was kept from the British press initially. The spa, located in Bangalore, is known for its alternative therapies, founded by Dr. Isaac Matai, who provides a range of holistic treatments. According to reports, Charles is no stranger to the spa, he's a frequent visitor and a strong advocate for alternative medicine. This retreat has become a safe space for him to unwind and focus on wellness. One of Charles's friends shared with the Daily Beast that he has always taken a holistic approach to health, and it has helped him maintain his well-being over the years. However, an official palace source clarified that, contrary to some reports, King Charles did not receive any alternative treatments for cancer at the spa. This clarification points to the high interests surrounding the king's health, as he has been managing a cancer diagnosis alongside his royal duties. His weekly treatments had only a brief pause, ensuring minimal disruption to his health routine even as he continued with official engagements. The brief break in India reportedly included yoga, dietary changes, and meditation sessions to help the king recharge after a whirlwind tour. Camilla, known for her own commitment to wellness, joined him in this three-day retreat, enjoying the benefits of Dr. Matai's holistic approach. Combining personal and official travel has generally been discouraged in the royal family, with strict rules about keeping the two separate. This incident with Charles and Camilla underscores the increasing balance between personal well-being and royal obligations. After the news broke, palace officials confirmed the king had paid for the trip himself and that it was indeed a private visit rather than an official engagement. This distinction emphasizes that while the royal family often adheres to tradition, allowances are sometimes made to prioritize health and well-being. Even though the spa visit was brief, it was unique enough to warrant a response from the palace. Given King Charles's dedication to both his health and his responsibilities as monarch, the combination of official duties with personal wellness may reflect a shift in royal priorities. Health issues are a sensitive topic for the royal family, particularly with the public's concern surrounding the king's recent health challenges. This clarification from Buckingham Palace highlights a modern-day reality where wellness and official duty sometimes overlap. The British public has mixed reactions to the news of Charles and Camilla's unexpected detour to India. While some applaud Charles for prioritizing his health, others are surprised at the decision to combine personal and official engagements, given the royal family's long-standing separation of the two. Public opinion on this has been divided, with some people calling the retreat a much-needed break and others questioning the private nature of the trip. On social media, some royal watchers showed support, with one user saying, King Charles deserves a break after such a packed schedule. Health comes first. Another, however, expressed a more critical perspective, royals have traditions for a reason. Mixing private trips with official ones breaks trust. These differing opinions highlight the balancing act the royal family must navigate in modern times. 
In an era where public figures are increasingly encouraged to focus on well-being, many supporters believe that the king should have the freedom to prioritize his health, even if it means making adjustments to the traditional royal routine. This discussion sheds light on the changing attitudes towards mental and physical health in public life, with many people valuing transparency and self-care as essential aspects of leadership. Following this brief wellness retreat, King Charles and Queen Camilla are expected to continue their royal duties upon returning to the UK. Their visit to Australia and Samoa marked an important diplomatic engagement, strengthening ties and underscoring the monarchy's ongoing relevance in the Commonwealth. This wellness break highlights a royal approach that might be evolving to balance personal care with royal obligations more fluidly than ever before. Charles's commitment to maintaining his health through holistic practices could be seen as a signal to the public that he is dedicated to his role for the long term. Despite some criticism, his choice to prioritize wellness could set a precedent for future royals, especially as the demands of modern life continue to place stress on high-profile figures. By taking this step, Charles has shown a willingness to adapt royal tradition in a way that fits the needs of today's world. This detour to India may mark a gradual shift in how royals approach wellness, balancing personal well-being with the demands of public life. For years, the British monarchy has adhered to strict protocols and customs, but as times change, so too might some of these traditions. Charles's long-standing support for alternative medicine and holistic approaches to health has made him a unique figure within the royal family. His openness to such practices has led to greater public awareness and, occasionally, controversy. While wellness retreats may not become a frequent occurrence for the royal family, this instance could set a new tone for future generations. Younger royals, such as William and Harry, have already shown a willingness to advocate for mental health and to support new approaches to well-being. This openness reflects a broader cultural shift that embraces holistic health as part of a balanced life, even for those in the public eye. King Charles's choice to take a private wellness trip to India after his official tour demonstrates a nuanced approach to the demands of royal life. This visit, while untraditional, highlights the monarchy's increasing awareness of the importance of personal health and well-being. As King Charles continues his reign, he may incorporate his holistic health practices into his royal responsibilities, creating a model that future generations could follow. What are your thoughts on this private getaway? Do you think the king was right to combine wellness with official duties, or should the royal family stick to tradition? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more royal updates. Thank you for watching.